Seek your vibrational alignment first, and then follow through with inspired action. I want to play more. I want to be more free with my play. And one of the things that I've noticed that I have a little bit of a negative vibration with is money, and I want to clean that up a little bit. Well, you can't get there from there because what what you just said is. I want to get on the path for fun but before I get there I want to get on a well-defined path that isn't fun for me and I'll, I'll, I'll clean up that well-defined path that isn't fun for me on my way to fun and we say why not just go directly to fun what why why do you have to um, justify your fun through a path that you've already acknowledged you've sort of clogged up a little bit mm -hmm. so so the fastest way so if you've ever had fun have you yes <laughs> so it if so think about something that is fun we're hitting this a little more head-on than maybe is the easy way to go about it but you're up for it you're all up for it so so what's fun, what is fun just be real soft and and um, easy and precise about fun moments not don't get carried away on mm -hmm. on what led up to it or how many things were involved in it just what makes up a fun moment for you this is a fun moment for me this is fun moment being here is a fun moment for me being with all the people here is fun so it's fun so so we get that mm -hmm. we we understand that so now let's milk that a little bit what's fun what what is fun about this What's I, fun about this? I'm enjoying the connection that I feel to myself and to the people that are here. Well, certainly that's necessary for fun, but that feels more like pleasure or enjoyment. Fun feels a little more pointed, uh, isn't it? Sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh, fun doesn't need to be funny, but fun certainly does imply lightheartedness. Yes, it implies nothing serious going on in the sense that we're not trying to fix anything that's broken mm -hmm. and so play around with that feeling of fun just a little bit Esther wrote pages and pages of the word fun a few months ago in her books fun 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 and tried to define as best she could and it took a little bit of doing to identify what's fun when Esther thinks about fun she thinks about laughing she thinks about other people being there mm -hmm. she thinks about more than just her having fun for some reason fun feels like something that is uh, delightfully shared so it's laughing with someone who laughs easily it's surprises along the way it's fine oh the fun oh the most fun 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 thing of all is universal co-creation in other words to have established something and then the universe saying how about this that's fun the, the universe's never ending ability to put things in the mix that's really fun it's also it's also it's not just fun it's clarifying and it's not just clarifying oh it really pronounces your sense of worthiness so we might be saying that clarity is fun and worthiness is fun but that's kind of stretching it in the boundaries a little bit but you see what we're getting at you want to sort of massage it into fun 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 the other day we were visiting with a really wonderful young man who has been talking to us for some time about relationship issues and we make a little progress and then we lose a little progress and we make a little progress and lose a little progress and each time he comes he's all full of his desire and easy for us to find because of his vibrational proximity and so he quite often has a conversation with Abraham about this subject It's sort of like an ongoing saga <laughs> so on this particular day we have one intention and one intention only and that is to just soothe and make light-hearted about this fun 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 so we started to explain that to him and he stopped us because we weren't right getting right to the heart of the issue like he wanted us to and he said these were his words I know all of that I've been there I've done that many 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 times I want to talk with you Abraham about this was, he didn't quite say it that way but that's what he meant and we said it's like going to get a massage and saying to the person as they begin rubbing your neck in some unbelievably delicious way oh wait you've done that before you don't have to do that again 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that feels so good on my feet. But stop. I've had that pleasure too. Stop. 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 Because the whole point of your moments, the whole point of a fun moment is to have fun, not to make fun for later, not, not to prepare yourself for fun. It's not doing an exercise that assures fun that messes the energy of it all up. It's just what's fun right now. What's fun right now. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes there's not enough momentum for fun right now. Fun is a fun has a little momentum going to it. Doesn't it? Doesn't fun have momentum going? Isn't it, it? What's more fun than getting on the wavelength with another person? Ooh. And then together discovering some really fun thing to think about or do or say that you have not done before. So adventures mixed in with fun. Fun's a sort of loaded word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's the way we would approach it. We would just walk all around it and sometimes that much conversation with yourself or with somebody else is enough to get it activated and then the fun begins as you're discussing it i'm realizing that over the last well throughout my life i've really enjoyed having fun on my own by myself and now i want to have more fun co-creating with other people well the good news there's good news and there's bad news in that statement <laughs> the good news is and it's really good news that if you are having fun by yourself, you're like a crazy person. No, no. <laughs> it, it, if you're having fun by yourself, it means that you have established a relationship with your source who is always present. And so the, the momentum of thoughts is escalating into really satisfying and fun filled moments. That's, that's, that's the good news. The bad news is, and it really isn't bad news, but really fun is one of those things that has enough momentum to it that usually it includes the universal's rendezvousing with you, with others. Even if they're not in the room with you, dancing with them in traffic, just different things that are happening. And so we, we are not prepared to say ever that anything cannot be experienced singularly. It's just that you are Law of attraction doesn't make you singularly focused ever. And the most fun things are the rendezvousing with other consciousness, other conversations, other words, other ideas, juxtapositions, other situations, situation comedy. Isn't that, isn't that what law of attraction is? Law of attraction is the best creator of situation comedy because law of attraction knows who you are and where you what you want and who you really are and where you stand in this current moment in vibrational proximity to all that you've become and it's just laying out this path of fulfillment that when you say I want fun oh law of attraction can be so fun in the things that are queued up for you in the surprise and delight that is queued up for you yeah See how they're finding fun? Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. Yeah. Enough? Yeah. Esther went one day to In N Out Burger, took her burger down to Mission Bay to sit and went deliberately for the pleasure of being there, just for the satisfaction of the place. And as she got there, she began looking at the other people that were there, and she said to herself, to us, out loud, I wonder how many of them were feeling good before they came here and the impulse to be here came because they were feeling good because that's the way she felt that it happened to her or how many of them came there for the entertainment or came there for the fun there's a difference isn't there in other words how much preparation did I do before and so this activity that I'm involved in is the inspiration from that fun place or did they come for the fun and so she sat and she tried to see if they were having as much fun as she was which is not an easy thing to discern because when you're having fun you sort of look, see fun where it is but it was a very interesting first time thought for her 
I know I felt good before I came and being here exaggerates the goodness that I felt I didn't come here to cheer myself up I felt good before I came so she's pondering that in fact she even wrote a little bit about it and she thought I'm just gonna do this grid work all the time I'm 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 gonna do the preparation and then I'm gonna let the universe fill it in because that's so fun that that makes you know that you've got this co-creative partner and all these co-creative partners so only those that are really ready to play with you play with you and so she left Mission Bay and she's on on a, a street getting ready to get back onto interstate 5 to go back to her house which was north and as she sat there for a moment she looked ahead and noticed that the traffic wasn't moving and then as she went through the last intersection which was an option to do something different before the on-ramp she realized there must be a traffic jam on the freeway because nothing was moving it was all really stacked up and she thought to herself hmm I could sit here or I could get out of here while the getting's good but that would require doing something highly illegal and <laughs> and very quick because things were shifting around so all of a sudden she just she was in the in the center lane she just cranked her steering wheel really hard and made a really effective and very fast u-turn and now she's facing the other way and at the same moment that she did it a man in the car behind her did exactly the same thing so now he was he was behind her now he's in front of her and now they're sitting and waiting for a rather long light and as Esther was sitting there the man got out of his car came over all full of himself and talked right into her window that was the single most exciting thing that I've ever seen happen in traffic <laughs> and Esther thought that was way fun <laughs> in other words she's in traffic and some frisky person who just wanted to play with her who was complimenting her on the deafness with which she had performed her illegal her legality <laughs> And she thought there are playful people everywhere and they will come in the most odd ways and the odder it is the funner it is don't you think yeah it is not your road to make others happy it is your road to keep yourself in balance